Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System. And the word of the day is crumbs. So the other day I created a meme that says, why settle for crumbs when you made the whole cake? And I think that for a lot of us who are highly sensitive and, and empathic, this can really impact us. This is something that can affect us pretty deeply because for one thing, we can sense the needs of the world and a lot of times feel so called to service and so called to want to be able to support and to make a difference that we're willing to sacrifice, that we're willing to give. And a lot of times we're willing to give a lot more than we get in return. And I think that there are times when that makes a lot of sense. But when it becomes a chronic pattern where we're always giving and giving and giving and basically getting crumbs in return, we made the cake, but what's left for us are a few crumbs at the end of it, that I think that we can really end up getting really depleted and really despondent. And I think that there's a lot of reasons for this. One is because as sensitives, I think we pick up on the needs in the world and feel the urgency of it and feel like somebody's got to do something. And since we're here, why not us? Then I think there's also believing in our own worth and believing that we actually deserve to get something back, as well as recognizing what we are worth and what we deserve. So I know that especially when I was younger, it was really hard to ask for what I wanted, to ask for what I needed, and especially to believe that I deserve to get something back for what I had put out there. And a lot of times I would doubt myself, a lot of stuff would come up. And so in many ways, it was more comfortable to settle for crumbs than it was to necessarily take the risk of saying, this is what I'd like in return. And that's the third piece of why sometimes I think we will settle for crumbs is that sometimes it's really scary to trust that if we turn away the thing that's not going to su be suitable for us, that something even better will actually come along and that we're not just going to end up like living on fumes. That sometimes I think we can imagine that it's easier to live with sort of the devil we know than the devil we don't know. And many years ago, I was in this relationship with somebody and honestly, it was a pretty crappy relationship. It was not really suited for both either of us. And unfortunately, I mean, in hindsight, it was probably your classic narcissist versus empath, empath relationship. And the thing was that one of the things we both had acknowledged was that even though it was really hard and, and it was, there were things that were not working for either of us, both of us were kind of like, well, considering that all relationships are a lot of work and that you got to really put so much energy into it, why don't we just stick with this one because at least it's a known quantity. Now, I will say that eventually I did leave that relationship and it was one of the better things I've ever done in my life because I realized that I didn't have to settle for crumbs, that I didn't have to keep putting up with so many things that were just not working for me. And I ended up being single for a while after that because I had a lot of stuff to do and I also had a little bit of shit to get together. But when I finally was ready to be in a relationship, I found the person that I've married and we've been married now for 17 years. And I know that part of why I'm in the relationship I'm in today is because I decided I wasn't going to settle for crumbs anymore. Now, not only can this impact us in relationships, but I also personally have found that this can deeply impact me in terms of my business. And I think this is something that can often affect those of us who are highly sensitive and empathic because we are so sensitive to other people's needs. We often do doubt our value and our worth. And also there can be just that fear of waiting for the right thing to come along, especially when money is involved in the story. And yet I know again and again that when I am willing to wait and when I know what something is worth and I know that something is precious and deserves more than just a few crumbs in return, that the universe rewards me again and again and again. And then in a lot of ways, the biggest leap of faith when it comes to not settling for crumbs is having the courage to believe that if we say 
no to the things that are not really serving us, and we're willing to trust and wait for the things that do, that they will actually come along. So my question to you right now is, are you settling for crumbs when you're making the whole cake? Are you giving a lot more than you're getting in return? Are you afraid that if you say no, that nothing is ever going to come along and that you're just going to be stranded and left holding the bag? And what would it be like to take that risk, to take that leap of faith, to trust that maybe if you say, this is what I really want and I'm going to hold out for it, that the universe would show up for you that way. And I will just say that again and again, in my own personal experience, this is how it works. That it starts by recognizing what I want and being willing to hold out for it. So I would love to hear what you have to say about all of this. Please leave a comment below. And until next word of the day, I'm wishing you peace. I'm wishing you ease. And I'm wishing you that deep sense of self-worth and value that allows you to hold out and wait for what you really deserve. So in the meantime, please like my Facebook page, Modern Medicine Lady, and I will be eternally grateful for your help to get this video out into the world. Please like it. Please share it. Please pass it along to other people who find it useful. Thank you so much and until tomorrow, peace.